amid fresh turmoil in the financial markets and with the housing slump upending another financial institution, the Bush administration's moving aggressively to shore up the nation's mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. To quiet investor fears about the two, it's told Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke to extend them a line of credit and told Congress it wants authority to buy up some of their shares. We must take steps to address the current situation as we move to a stronger regulatory structure. Between them, Fannie and Freddie either own or guarantee half of America's mortgages. But their shares have been clobbered by fears they're low on cash. And the biggest part of that move down was because investors were getting concerned that they were going to need to raise capital, and they didn't really know how they were going to do that. And the White House is hopeful Congress will move quickly on the proposal. Because we think this is urgent pieces of legislation that need to get done, and that it will be important for uh, increasing confidence and stability in the market. The moves came as the Fed approved new lending rules aimed at thwarting the aggressive practices that fueled the subprime mortgage mess, and as a California bank swamped by bad loans reopened under new management. Uncle Sam's. Officials say it's business as usual at IndyMac Bank, and customers certainly hope that's so. I feel comfortable enough because it is if it's insured. So, you know, you take it out, you put it somewhere else, the same thing could happen. I feel quite sad for the people that work here at IndyMac, and uh, it's a very sad day for them. What's unclear is whether the lifeline for the mortgage giants and the Fed's new lending rules will calm markets and homeowners. Then there's something no one knows for sure right now, whether the slumping housing market has yet hit bottom. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.